Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to put your website on Cloudflare's Edge servers. Uh, so, if you don't know what Edge server is, I will leave a link in the description. You, you can read more about it. So, it's basically a CDN where you put your website on their servers to improve the loading time and reduce the latency. So, yeah. You can read more about it here. So we basically will put the HTML J JavaScript files and images on Cloudflare's Edge servers and it will improve the loading time by a lot. Uh, okay, so first you need to connect and log into your Cloudflare website. If you don't know how to connect your Cloudflare website, let me know in the comments. I will make a video about it. Uh, this is my website and I will show you how to put it on the edge servers. So if I'm going to test the website right now, let's do it. Test the site. This is the scores that we get. The loading time is 1.8 seconds. Uh, it's already very good. So everything is perfect, but we can still improve the loading time and reduce it even more. Okay, so let's go back to Cloudflare. So I set to development mode, I will turn it off to make the test for you. I'm turning it off, okay. So go to the rules and this is the most important part of this tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to create some rules. So just click create page rules and here we need to set the website link. You can uh, put some specific pages on the edge servers or you can put uh, the whole website so i'm going to put the whole website on cloudflare's edge rules keep in mind if you are going to put the website on the edge servers that dynamic content like currency switcher language switcher won't work so don't do it only static websites are recommended otherwise you need to set up some uh cloudflare's workers so if you want to see a tutorial how to set up some custom cloudflare worker workers that makes your website work with the edge servers and with dynamic content let me know in the comments if you have cloudflare pro and you are using wordpress then you have something else for for that you don't need to use edge servers it is called uh let me show you i don't remember the name i think it's in speed optimization yes automatic platform optimization for wordpress it is included in the pro plan it is very good if you want to see a, a tutorial with that let me know in the comments also okay let's go let's go back to the rules create page rule and we're going to put the whole website on the edge servers my website doesn't have any dynamic content so it's totally static website so it's so it's easy to handle it okay so let's do it so first just remove https and put asterisk before that so it takes the everything what's what is before the domain name so http and http https it takes everything and if you want to put the whole website on the edge servers just put the asterisk after that so it takes any url after that and now the most important part cache level cache everything this will put the website on the edge servers and everything will be cached cached next step is browser cache ttl set it to one month you can also set it for two hours if you have a lot of if you have like news website and it's and you're posting a lot of posts every hours or every two hours so it's good to set a bit less i'm going to set for one month then the next step is to edge cache ttl so how long should the cached content stay at the edge servers? So I'm going to choose the maximum amount. In your case, if you have some 
changing things on your website if there's is something changing like every day or some or every hour you can set it for one hour or for two hours that's totally fine okay let me check if we need to put anything else okay i don't think so yeah that's fine nothing else so these rules are the most important these rules will put our website on the edge servers save and deploy okay i'm going to back to my website i'm going to refresh three times shift f5 i'm going to refresh one more time okay let's go inspect tools go to the network tab refresh one more time select all select on your domain name let's check it and you will see that cv cache status hit so the website was loaded from the edge servers that's perfect okay let's test with this now and if you see here cv cache status dynamics so it's not on the edge servers so all the content is downloaded from my origin hosting account but this version of the website is downloaded from the cloudflare's edge servers so the closest location to me let's click retest and let's see what the difference are amazing so we see that scores are a lot not a lot but are improved a, a little bit we get 100 percent and we can see that we went from 1.8 seconds to 0 0.7 seconds and you can see a 50% improvement, something around that. And if you go here, you will see that CV cache status hit. So it was loaded from the edge servers. And you can see with everything. And like it was, the page loads instantly. Okay, I will show you some more rules. I will delete this one. Or right, I'm going to turn it off just by clicking here if you have a lot of dynamic content or maybe you have a woocommerce website we can put just the vp content folder on the edge service like images yeah and your cache files and all the plugins and teams files we can put on the edge service a visitor visits your website that content is loaded not from your origin hosting account location but from the edge server closest location to the visitor from cloudflare so we need to go to vp content folder it, it's going to show bl a blank page that's normal so we need this one let's take it go back to create page rule delete everything before the domain name put asterisk and we want to cache everything from the vp content folder in vp content folder there is everything related to teams plugins uh, your images everything so that content can be loaded from edge service keep in mind that some dynamic content can also stop working but it's a bit safer uh, if you want to be very 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 safe and don't break anything you can even do that just add uploads like this so vp content uploads and then asterisk this will cache everything from the uploads folder so this is my uploads folder so you have like images from 2022 so all these images will be on the edge servers and they don't change much so they can stay on the edge servers so yeah this is perfect let's Put the same rules cache everything uh, choose the browser cache TTL let's do one year they don't change so they can stay for a long time okay that's perfect save and deploy very good let's go back to the domain name I'm going to refresh three times okay go inspect element network let refresh one more time let's select images i'm going to select i know the background and we see the cache status hit 
If I go back to all and I choose Marcunas, it's dynamic. So all the dynamic content is loaded, but the images are loaded from the edge servers, which improves the loading time by a lot. So I'm going to test it again. The scores can go a bit down because the latency is greater now, but the images uh, are loaded from the edge servers. So we put some work from the server on the Cloudflare and it's very, very good. Oh, we get even better scores, but it depends, you know, every time you test, you get different results. So don't take this in full consideration. You see now that our domain has a much bigger latency and it loads in 540 ms and it's dynamic so yeah so it takes a little bit more time but as you see our assets like images are loaded from the cloudflare's edge service and they they take only 37 milliseconds so that's nothing so as you see it's also very good because we have don't have a lot of other files like JavaScript or CSS, the website loads pretty quick, only putting the images on the edge servers. So if you have any questions regarding anything I said, let me know in the comments, I will answer them. If you want any other tutorials related to Cloudflare, just let me know. Okay, so thanks for watching and bye bye.